everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i am going to share two easy one pot meat recipes using sabudana both of these are very easy to cook very filling very delicious and the perfect recipes for the cold monsoon days so yeah let's get started the first recipe is a traditional bengali khichdi or khichdi recipe using sabudana moong dal and a lots of vegetables So for this recipe first I am going to take half a cup of sabudana and dry roast that this actually makes the sabudana a little less sticky and once it's done I am going to wash it off and then soak it using 2 cups of water for a while Next I am also going to dry roast 1/4 cup of moong dal and then pressure cook it because this reduces the cooking time significantly Now once the sabudana is soaked and the moong dal is cooking I'm going to prepare the vegetables. Now I already had the usual mixture of carrots, beans and capsicum in my kitchen and all I needed to do was chopping up some potato and some tomato. So I am chopping up the vegetables into small bite sized pieces. It reduces the cooking time and also they get mixed well in the khichdi which enhances the taste. And for some added dose of protein I am also going to chop up some paneer and add it to the khichdi. Now once all these preparations are done it's time to cook the khichdi. So I started off by adding 2 tablespoon of ghee in a kadai you can also use refined oil but honestly ghee enhances the taste a lot and to the ghee I added some jeera and one bay leaf and once they are aromatic i first added the potatoes so the potatoes take some time to cook i cover it and fry it for a while and once it's soft and semi cooked i add all the other vegetables to it so i cover and cook all the vegetables together for a while and once the vegetables are nearly done i add the tomatoes and some other spices So I added the turmeric, salt and sugar and then mixed everything really well and covered it and cooked it for a while. And after 3 or 4 minutes the tomatoes melt and all the vegetables become soft and well cooked and at this point I add the paneer and then soon after I also add the moong dal and the sabu. So first I added the moong dal to the kadai and then I drained the sabudana and also added it. And after giving everything a good stir, I added a little over a cup of water to it. And then I keep stirring it continuously. After a while, the sabudana soak up most of the water, they become all transparent and soft. And yeah, the khichdi is ready. It's the perfect rainy day meal for me. I just absolutely love this one. So the second recipe is a congee recipe which was a very successful experiment. Usually congees or porridge are made with chicken and rice. I replaced the rice with the sago pearl and it turned out to be extremely delicious. So I started off by measuring the chicken. I used 250 grams for two people. If you are using boneless chicken, you can use around 200 grams. and i also roughly chopped up one big onion and a few garlic cloves there's no need to be very precise because everything will get cooked in a pressure cooker so i added the chicken along with the onion and garlic in a pressure cooker added 2 cups of water and cooked it for two whistles and then released the pressure after 30 minutes After 30 minutes the chicken is very soft and completely cooked I bring it out I leave the broth in the pressure cooker as it is I will use it later for cooking the congee and then I remove the bone and shredded up the chicken you can also use whole pieces but for a congee it's always better if you are shredding up the meat into very small bite sized pieces Next I added very little oil to a kadai and I had some chopped frozen spring onion So once the oil heated up I added a good amount of spring onion to the oil. It enhances the taste of the congee and also adds a fresh green element to the dish. At this point I also added the shredded chicken and mixed it well with the spring onion. And for this dish also I had some soaked sago and I added it to the kadai at this point. 
and after leaving everything a quick stir i started adding the broth so i don't add all the broth in one go i add little by little and allow the sago to get cooked in it once the entire broth is added i keep stirring it continuously this is a must because otherwise the sabu tends to stick to the bottom of the pan and once the congee thickens up it is time to add all the different spices and sauces so i decided to keep it very simple i added some pepper some white vinegar some light soy sauce and my personal favorite some oyster sauce Here's a pro tip don't add any salt before you taste because most of the times the sauces already contain a lot of salt for me personally in this congee i did not have to add any extra salt and yes the congee is ready i cover it and allow it to thicken up a little bit more and after that i take it in a bowl and add some green chili and some sesame oil and that's it i am not calling it the healthiest one pot meal but this is definitely very filling and very very satisfying give it a try i'm sure you will love this one on a cloudy or rainy day like this one of these two recipes can be your perfect lunch companion That is it for this video guys if you like it give it a big thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comment section down below also if you have not subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you around i will be back with another video very soon till then take care and bye bye